Hello, mister. You all right? Might want to rest if you can. Hello, boy. an issue? I'll take a paper, please. Well, for the next one. Okay, then. Show me off. Well, So, come on. Just boy. let me know. Hello. Hello. Sir. Been a while since you came through town, ain't it? I have an assortment of hunting bait and tools if you haven't noticed. Worms and crickets by the front door, and don't miss the sand blocker by the back window. Sure, I'm always willing to stack up. Everything in that is available for purchase. All right. Thank you. That's done. All right. Enjoy. Keep looking. Let me know if there's anything else. for your help. Howdy, sir. Yeah. 
Mr. Le Diamond Street. Nobody did nothing. Time for me to go. Can't waste more time here. You don't look so good, partner. In the mood for her show? The show's on right now. The legend of Josiah Blackwater today. Local favorite so far. I need a ticket, please. Okay, head on in. Tent to your left. Yeah. 
and thereby ensured those infernal engines didn't have nothing to eat. Of course, that got them mightily riled up, so we had to slaughter all of them, too. Just like his daddy had once done to the Redcoats in 1775. Right about that time, he met an Indian girl he took pity on, on account of having annihilated her family. She was 12 years old, and so he took her as his wife. She gave him two sons before she died of typhus. Now, y'all know that Josiah Blackwater wore a possum's brat, but most don't know how that came to be. Well, one day, old Josiah was riding a couple of alligators down the land of the Hatchie River, riding, standing up, and shooting eagles right out of the sky when he sees a big old mountain lion about to eat a possum. Josiah grabbed that mountain lion by the tail and wrestled it till it was plumb dead. Well, that possum really took to Josiah, followed him around like a dog loyal to his master. Yes, they had a lot of adventures together. Now Josiah never cried a day in his life, but he perked near dead on the day that possum passed. For they were mighty fine friends. So he skinned it and made it into a hat. Back in them days, a possum skin was as good as money. But he never parted with that hat. Not even for ten dollars. Once he founded the town of Blackwater, he sent word for settlers to come. It was the last stop from the west before San Francisco. He met a girl by the name of Rufina Hellsby at a barn dance one night. Took her as his wife and settled down. Built himself a title empire and had 14 youngins. But Josiah Blackwater wasn't the home-loving kind, and he grew mighty restless. One day on the courthouse steps, he announced, You may all go to hell, and I will go to St. Denis. And so he did. Enjoyed French pursuits of strumpets and walking gluttony, which is where he came upon the idea of running for Congress. He wore that possum hat every day as a congressman, as a reminder of where he come from. And I may live in barbaric splendor, but I always remember, keep your friends close and your gun closer, because you don't know when you might have to shoot them. Hope to see you again. All right, boy. Slow up now.
us all. All right, boy. Hi there, folks. Good morning, sir. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Well, it's been a little while, eh? So, buy or sell it. Okay, let's take a look at it. What's in a lifetime, eh? Open your eyes, fool. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. You young bucks have it easy down here in the south. I once tracked a bad-tempered moose four days across an ice sheet just to eat a square meal. to the ridge west of Annisburg. Good hunting. You meet a falconer named Jerry. Tell him I said hi. I do if I had your youth. These days I'm fishing more and tracking less. My old man was right. Sneaks up on you. I wish I never had to take my stall into the city. Just like I wish country folk had any damn money. I don't sell to stores. You want my wares? Right here's the one place to find them.
Every one of my garments is a little different. As every pelt is a little different. You'll find them nowhere else. Not much demand for coyote pelts, except for one, down in Scarlet Meadows. Big black beauty. No one's ever caught him, though. Thanks. Hey. 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 Madam, right here. Good morning. Good morning. You look a little weak. Where's the feller who was here last time I came in? Oh, you probably mean my brother. Far away from here, I hope, not sullying my good name any further. So, you don't know nothing about those fellers he had chained up in the basement? Of course not! I was out of town! Now, is there something I can help you with? I really don't want to talk about that sordid business. Excuse me, madam, behind you. Thanks, for Back off for sure. Okay, boy. Let's go. How do you do? Hey there, partner.
Hello, ladies. Hey now. Hello there. Always nice to see a smile. Well, Happy take care now. Be safe out there. Jump the broom. Like I need some man bossing me around. Same thing happened last time. Between you and me, where you find a station, you'll find a lot of trouble. You get a lot of visitors coming in and out of this place, you know. Have yourself a nice trip. Read this book. It is the future of American science. Very rich and a lot of men very sick. Those are the only outcomes. So if you're not rich, trust me, you will be sick soon enough. Come on, the eyes. Yeah!
Hello. Hello, ma'am. You know a good place to get some food? Sorry, can't say. Okay, fella. Someone show kindness on a man with no sight. Help a blind man. Have this. Be warned, sir. Do not slumber too deeply, for the man with no nose is coming for you. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. I have Let's nothing go. more for you now. Go use what you know. Don't end up like me. One in, stay He's out of our way. Somebody... They called you a woman killer, not a turncoat. Your own brother? Hey, I'm a good man. 
<laughs> you're wasting your breath. Sounds like your brother should have smarged you up when he had a chance. Hey, friend. I always say, manners cost nothing. Is that true? Hey, wait a second. Stay your business. I don't have time to waste. Yeah.
How you doing, boy? Let's get you cleaned up. <laughs> yep. Easy now. Okay, boy. Arthur, how you doing? Nervous, but I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and 
I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can, you could give something to Jack. Hey, Stider. Well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. Huh. yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Okay, I should go get the handcart ready. 
You okay to finish off down here? Sure. Go on. I can handle the rest. I'll see you up there. This better work. Get up here, quick! Ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Let's hope so. <laughs> you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here, risking our necks, and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me, and we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. 
I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Easy, easy. Thank mm -hmm. you. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. I don't like the sound of this. All I'm saying... See if we can get through a morning with no argument. Miss Grimshaw. All right. All right. Hey, Mary Beth. Morning, Arthur. It's gonna be all right. I feel like a prisoner here. We won't be here for too long. We just need an escape plan. All right, then. <laughs> yes, Arthur. Poor Karen. Morning, Arthur. Hi, Uncle. Hi. 